Uh, the Florida Keys are um, at the downstream end of the greater Everglades ecosystem. We share a number of the same stressors, whether it's human development, habitat fragmentation, and exotic species. On top of that, then we bring in climate change. So when I think about climate change, it's not only what's going to happen in the future, but it's just going to add to the stressors that we're already challenged with. The challenges that we face, the big three, development, invasive species, and water infrastructure, I think really will continue to take a huge amount of time and energy to address. And what's fascinating about it is climate change will exacerbate all three of these threats. We now know that climate change is the transformational issue of our time. How will we deal with sea level rise of two or three feet in a ecosystem that basically isn't very high in the first place. What will we do with these species that rely on these low-lying areas? A landscape conservation cooperative will allow us to use SHC principles to figure out what are the right biological targets in a climate change world in the context of restoration. Landscape conservation cooperatives will address climate change, but they will not be climate-centric. Just as all kinds of other things influence whether fish and wildlife habitats persist into the future, and whether species in individual or population succeed, climate is one of those stressors that is going to change the future, and we'll have to address it as a suite of stressors for all of those species. If I could choose a legacy to leave, it would be bringing in research partnerships um, to build a foundation that's based on good science and that that will provide the kind of information in the long-term trends that when climate change starts to accelerate and we see further changes that we'll be able to adapt and mitigate to those changes. This partnership that we have created really has provided a foundation for us that will help us take the next step through a landscape conservation cooperative using strategic habitat conservation principles. Everything we learn in all of those areas, we're able to pull together and, and get a much bigger, better picture of what we're working with and how to best manage it. We are a small part of the larger whole. If we can get everything working together, we might be able to have something where the American people can come out and say, look at that, I mean, that is the Everglades. We cannot be successful. We can get all the money in the world, we can have all the time in the world, but we can't successfully restore the Everglades and recover the imperiled species that we so desperately care about without the partnerships. I think the future for landscape conservation cooperatives is going to look like this. Instead of having other agencies come to us, or us go to other agencies and say, we've got a good idea, we'd like to work with you on it, we're going to get together at the beginning and we will do a more effective job at conservation because we will start from the beginning with the same goals and objectives rather than doing it piecemeal. We're working now with the Nature Conservancy, the state of Florida agencies, nonprofits, some businesses, farmers and working ranch lands. But when we sit down at the table at an LCC, we're going to have all of these people together talking about what we're planning for collectively. And we'll do a better job at conserving wildlife and achieving everybody's goals when we start from the beginning and plan together.